I am at the stern of the Belgian Lind. Oh, um, I've fallen off. Uh, I'm just gonna hop into the water. Oh, there it goes. Oh, boy, yep. I'm still on the stern. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're back in Tiny Sailor's World. And today, we are checking out an update that adds three new vehicles into the game, and we're also joined by Jake Killen. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we have the Belgian Lend. This is the star attraction of the recent update, and it looks fantastic. It is super detailed, and it even has interior. So this ship actually carried some notable passengers and went on a super long cruise. And I'll hand it over to Jake Killen to tell us a little bit about the history of the Belgian Lund. So some notable passengers that you were mentioning would be Albert Einstein. Uh, he was on board her in 1933. And another was during the 1920s, White Star Line stewardess Violet Jessup, who was obviously famous for surviving both the Titanic and the Britannic sinkings, uh, sailed on the Belgian Lund on round two of the world cruises while employed by Red Star. So how long was this world cruise? Because I would imagine that it wasn't just a couple of days, obviously. Uh, from what it says, it was on December 1924. She embarked on a 133-day world wow. cruise. Wow. One of the longest attempted by a luxury liner at the time, advertised as the largest ship to circle the globe. Now, was this cruise during her cruise ship period? Because I do know that the Belgian Lind actually was a cruise ship it even is in the game as well you can see we actually have a cruise livery but uh was it during that time uh i presume so because i believe she did take on that kind of new cruise sort of role during her mid to late career as wow. i said uh with her big cruise being in 1924 on the you know the largest ship to circle the globe yeah now here we have this amazing ship it's got so many little details on it and uh yeah we're just gonna sail out so i'm just gonna do a traditional cruise or well traditional voyage really from new york to southampton and we're gonna see how it goes so yeah and we're also going to experience some mini interiors because we're gonna stop off at halifax check out those interiors and then we'll make our way to southampton but uh yeah so the great depression actually hit the belgian land hard so it was said that it caused her to reduce to sailing on short cruises and one-day excursions from New York, charging $4 a passenger. You know what's really funny about that is I'm leaving New York right now. I can actually see the skyline right in the distance, and uh, we're actually sailing off to Halifax, and then obviously we'll go from Halifax to Southampton. So yeah, apparently the Atlantic Transport Company purchased her in January 1935 and renamed her the Columbia. Well, I'm going to have to rename the ship now to... Uh, well, sinking, because I just struck a mine. So, uh -oh. that's great. Skill issue. There it is. Yep. So, unfortunately, I have uh, graced Jay Killen's computer with a soundboard. So, um, he has the ability to play any sound that he desires. Let's just hope that it won't get me demonetized. So, anyways, um, you were saying about the uh, ship being renamed? Yeah, she was bought by the Atlantic Transport Company in 1935 and was renamed to the Columbia. She was then placed on the New York City to California service line via the Panama Canal. Mm -hmm. And then eventually in April of 1936, she sailed from New York to the United Kingdom and was sold for scrap. And her scrapping commenced on 4th of May of that year. There we are. This ship has a very long history, and it looks like my ship in particular will not because it is heavily damaged and it is limping to Halifax for repairs. So that is wonderful. Now, um, yeah, we are going to try to make our way there without any more damage, but usually this area is riddled with mines and it's dark out, so I can't see them. Oh God. Wish me the best of luck. My ship is struggling along at 11 knots, and I am significantly far away from Halifax right now. I am worried, and as I mentioned, there is a new vehicle other than just this ship. That happens to be a submarine, and also a Boeing 707, but you can't really do too much with that, can you? Unfortunately, J. Killen knows that I'm damaged, and J. Killen is a pretty good shot in the game, as we know from this video. So, yeah. 
while we're sailing along here, this would be a good opportunity to take a look at some of those interiors. And as you can see, we have a promenade here, but that's not really an interior. This is here, so you can barely see it there, but there is a bit of a lounge. This looks amazing. I have yet to see something like this in the game. We did see some really amazing interiors in one of the last videos, which I'll also leave a link to in the top right corner. But for now, we're just going to struggle on and see if we can get there before we inevitably are sunk by Jay Killen or a mine or something. And yeah, but uh, for now, we're just going to keep plowing ahead. Uh-oh. Um, I think that's him. I don't think you guys can see it with YouTube compression, but I do see a periscope just over to our port side. So, yikes. And I've also turned on PvP because that wouldn't be fair if I didn't do that. So, uh, we'll see if we can survive. Oh, no. Nope. We are almost dead, folks. Um, water tank doors are closed, so we will have to take another shot to sink, but... For now, we are plowing ahead. So, yes. And there we are, folks. We are sinking. And I think we're sinking. Yep, we are going down by the stern. Wow. Issue. Yep, there it is. Thank you for that. Anyways, folks, the stern of the Belgian Land is going under. You can see some air is escaping one of the cargo holds as water pours in. Hello, how are you doing? Oh my gosh. That lifeboat just did a kickflip over my sub. Yes, I just saw that. That's actually a pretty cool view there to see the ship going down. There's actually some video of some World War I ships sinking during, obviously, World War I. And they kind of go down at this sort of angle. There go the funnels there as the water pours into the ship and onto the deck. So let's abandon as it goes under. So the power is going out and there it is. The ship is gone to the bottom. It is sitting on its side, and it's actually sitting on two of the funnels there. So that is pretty cool. But we're going to go ahead, we are going to respawn the ship, and we're going to take a look at it with mini characters. So we're going to take our characters, shrink down onto the deck, and see what it looks like. So, yeah, Jay Killen, want to hop on board? Yeah. Excellent, so let's go. All right, so here we are on board. We're just waiting for Jay Killen, and then we'll actually experience the ship sinking in small mode. But obviously, first, we're going to look at the interiors. But this looks amazing so far. Hello! How are you doing? Oh, here we go. I'm on the promenade. It's very difficult to see. But here we go. If Let's you see. Look down towards the ground, like if you aim your camera from the ground, you can look and it's easier to see through ah, the promenade. Cool. I'm actually in one of the lounges right now. Well, it's difficult to see. I'm in the lounge. This looks actually amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh. It looks like we have a staircase. I can barely see it. Oh, there we are. Look at that. That is awesome. Now, there's also a new sinking method. Well, not really a new sinking method, but a sinking speed. It's ultra slow. So, we're going to be checking that out today as well because if the ship sinks too fast, we're going to get flung off. So, we don't want to get flung off. That wouldn't be awesome. So, yeah, here we are. And look at that. There is a uh, little ship there. That's the uh, traffic or nomadic there. Very cool. All right, so where are you at currently? I'm actually below the main lounge area. I should get up on yeah, that I'm deck. Yeah, still at the lounge. All right. Oh, hold on. Let's see if you're in here. Let's see. Hello! There you are. I'm below you, so let me see if I can get up. Oh, there we are. That just worked. I do see lifeboats leaving. I do see some luggage at the front of the ship and some wreckage. But other than that, nothing is going super bad. I think they are firing flares. Yes, they the are. Oh, really? That's awesome, actually. Yeah. I want to see what that looks like. Hold on. Oh my gosh. I kind of slide around like I'm on ice. But there we are. Look at that. I'm going to turn off these nameplates. Well, it looks like the Belgian Lynn may be taking on water. What do you think? Uh, might be. Might be. If all the lifeboats are already gone and they're firing flares. Let's see how many lifeboats. Whoa, too many to count. Just so many boats. Let's go down onto the forecastle deck. So, um... Looks like we got somebody looking over the uh, very front of the ship there. And you can see the nameplates are about to slip under. They're just reflecting a little bit in the water there as they go under. And that's actually just on my end. You probably won't see this in game unless you have Roshade on. And Roshade is an external program that just makes Roblox look better. So there we are. Um, yeah, by the way, Jake Hillen, the, uh, the folks on deck is about to flood. Oh, well, that's not good. I would recommend... We go into the lounges, smash the paneling, make a raft, 
use chairs for flotation, of course, life jackets. I mean, it looks like there's really no one around other than crew, so yeah, and the uh, focus attack is now quite literally flooding. Let's see, where are you? I can barely see anything. I see the inside of the roof. Oh no, I th yeah, she's speeding up. Uh-oh, I think the lights are starting to fail. Yeah, the bow is, um, well, it's, it's under. It's been under for a while, but I think something else is about to flood in a minute. Uh, there is water at the front of the, uh, promenade. So I'm gonna move towards the stern. I think that would be a beneficial idea. Yeah, the bridge is flooding now. Oh, gosh, that is not good. Yep, there she goes. She is going under. I'm going to the stern. I'm gonna pull a Titanic moment here. Here we go. I am at the stern at the Belgian land. Oh, um, I've fallen off. Uh, I'm just gonna hop into the water. Oh, there it goes. Oh, boy, yep. I'm still on the stern. Seriously? Are you in the lounge? Nope, nope I am just right at the aft end. Like oh, right wow. Docking bridge, it looks like. All right, let me see if I can hop back on board. I don't know if that's cheating or not, but there we go. And the Belgian land is sinking to the bottom. Oh, what just happened? The ship just came out of the water. Didn't for me. Well, it did just a little bit. And then hmm. it's now plunging again. Did it hit something? Oh, it will in a minute. Um, it is in very shallow water, obviously. We're not very far from the uh, San Francisco uh, skyline there. So, yeah, there she goes. She is gone. So that was the Belgian land sinking under the waves again. So we're going to quickly check out the 707, and then we're going to end off this video. So in another video, we're actually going to use the brand new submarine. We saw a little sneak peek of the submarine with Jay Killen sailing it around, but we're going to check that out in another video. But for now, let's check out that 707 before we end off the video. Oh, wow. The weather is looking fantastic. Great for a wonderful, safe flight. Now, uh, Jay Killen, if you'd like to watch my takeoff, or if you'd like to go up to a really tall building so I can fly really low and hopefully knock you off the top of it, then, uh, yeah, I would recommend going there because I am about to take off now. Oh, that is not how a plane takes off. Oh, my gosh. All right, quick. Go, 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 go. And there we are. Almost crashed into a hangar, but we're good. Where are you at? Oh, there you are, Jay Killen. Hello and goodbye. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I'm standing on it. You're on the plane right now. Yes. How is this possible? I have no idea. This has got to be a once-in-a-lifetime. <laughs> Bye. Landed right on the oil rig. That is unbelievable. Well, folks, my job is done. Might as well crash the plane now. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you soon, guys. Goodbye.